Hi, my name is Sarah. And my name is Sunita. Uh, we've come together as Soul Sisters to fulfil our purpose, which is to make a positive change in this world. And we thought we'd create this space for people to be able to be more empathetic, to be more compassionate, and just to show wonders and dreamers that there is a space for them to be themselves. And we're really driven to, you know, make a positive change, like my Soul Sister said, yeah. in this world. And, you know help people really realize that inner peace that they hold within themselves so yeah. yeah so we decided to create this channel to show our interest our passion you know about this topic of well-being because we feel like we, we don't see it as much you know on social media or even on youtube so we decided we just want to maybe show our ideas and maybe if someone resonates that would be amazing if the you know if one person connects that's that's something that we feel will touch us so much and so we're here just to you know show what we're growing through and hope whoever wants to join us this journey will want to grow with us and we're excited we've got this yin yang symbol behind us which shows the whole image of our like you know centered journey that we're gonna go through okay i'm going to ask a few questions so you can get to know us more um, what does the name of your channel mean? Yeah. So the name of our channel is Sailing Sisters. And honestly, like, I feel like we're on this journey of, um, how do I explain it? Like, I've always been obsessed and like, I'm part of Sarah as well, and with the analogy of water. And I feel like, you know, we're on this journey of just sailing through life and um, I feel like the beauty of water is that it's it's delicate but yet it can hold so much it can literally hold a ship up and you know when you look down t deep into the ocean you know you've got ripple waves at the top but the further you go down there's a state of peace and for us it's been on that constant sailing journey <laughs> yeah so yeah and I think you know we're soul sisters we're on this journey so we decided to c combine the two together you know sisters we're in this journey together and then sailing because we're going we're going for a ride through this journey and you know it's going to be special so that's that's the that's the reason why we named ourselves sailing sisters um second question is uh what are three things what are three things we should know about you see you shall i start yeah okay three things Three things that you should know about me is the first thing is um Oh do you think we should say about each other? Uh, yeah uh, each other. Okay. Okay. Three things that you should know about Sarah. Sarah's as free spirited as it comes. <laughs> and I mean this girl is not boxed up. Like my man thinks I'm free. <laughs> Just Sarah is another level free, and it's it's beautiful yeah. because like she truly like takes life as it comes, and like she really doesn't like limit her perception. She's always remained empathetic and kind, and yeah. honestly, she's as free as it comes. Like, let me tell you, this girl was stranded in another country for three months. <laughs> oh yeah, during the pandemic, I was stranded in Pakistan for three months. Three months, and this girl was like, "Something is fine." I'm chilled. <laughs> I was like, I was like it's fine. So literally the word wonderlust, yeah. wanderer, yeah. free spirit, Sarah. So And sneeze. That she's a big bookworm. Yeah. A very big bookworm. She loves reading. She always loves to expand her mind. Um, you know, like she said, she's always a learner, she's a student in life and she's always, you know, expanding her perception and her understanding through reading. And then um, another thing she's just so positive <laughs> like i don't think i've met a person as positive as sarah and that's why she's my soul sister oh, yeah. um, just three things that describe sunita are number one boss <laughs> she's a boss as <laughs> <laughs> like oh. in terms of just reinventing herself like through different trying times Sneer really has given the time and effort to do that and the way she just does it by stride and strength like it's so inspiring to me 
and I see how she really does it for herself first and foremost nobody else and it really shows qualities of what it really means to be a boss of speed in her do you know what I'm saying and I think seeing that really just inspired me like because we were like we were younger then like around 1920 and and I saw the difference from college to when Snia went to university. But it was like certain aspects that she decided that I want to work on for myself. And it was not not because it was like any other reason. It was like, no, I want to gain my inner strength. I want to gain my, you know, my physical strength. And then my mindset, like all three, I felt like just seeing that was was what it means to you know really like love yourself truly oh. and yeah honestly oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then oh. second thing is um compassionate like definitely i feel like sni is so open-hearted to listen to understand from other people's point of views and to really like open-heartedly like like be there I'm, i i understand where you're coming from and i think with such compassion it just gives you the actual room to be vulnerable vulnerable and to be yourself wholeheartedly see it gives that energy and i think that's what's so special as well so that's number two yeah and then number three is number three is i'm gonna say motherhood <laughs> <laughs> yes so the third thing is motherhood Sadia is a beautiful mom to a beautiful daughter and the to see Sadia transition into a mom is so special because motherhood has given Sadia such like reflective you know emotions and I feel like if motherhood didn't intro wasn't introduced with Sadia like so much of maybe how Snea is growing more is reflected through embracing motherhood and Snea is a Snea is a beautiful mom like I can't explain it I get so inspired every time I see Snea being a mom um, <laughs> honestly but Snea is gonna go into more depth of how motherhood like transforms Snea on a whole nother level but why say so the third the, the third one is definitely um, motherhood so Aww. these three these three things are the why I describe you to you? My soul sister, I love you. <laughs> my girl knows me. Yeah. <laughs> Mother know myself. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Aww. And then we've got our last question for getting to know us, which is if you could have three people, you know, to invite on your on a if you, if you had three people to invite for dinner, who would it be? Sia, you go first. Um Janaiko. Okay, and I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't know about her at all if it wasn't through Sarah. Like, honestly. Janae Aiko gang! Like, we were literally sat down in a room once, and I think we were just, like, either writing, Sarah was doing some art, and then she played one of her songs in the background called Blue Dreams, and I said yeah. Sarah, like, what's this song? And you're like, it's this artist called Janae Aiko, and then I looked into her, and I listened to more of her music, and honestly, I don't think I'd be who I am without her music. Mm -hmm. Like, her music just like resonates on a different level. She literally writes her music in a way where it's like a story, a life journey, and everything that I've been through, I really feel like I can resonate with her. Mm -hmm. And she's just a healer, and there's not a lot of musicians out there that like her, and everything she does is genuinely for healing the people around her and healing people that listen to her. Mm -hmm. And just yeah, and I think she's so, she's got another level of depth that I've never, ever, ever, like, felt from another music artist, like, personally for me, and just, yeah, and I know Avi, Avi feels it too, when that girl's having her food, she's like, yo, I agree, I, I agree, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's definitely Janae, and, like, I can only be thankful, I can't, I just don't think I could thank her enough, yeah. like, so, Janae, and I'd just love to sit and, like, you know, like, just, you know, learn more from her, Second is a savvy guru. Oh my god, if I ever meet him, I will cry. Yeah, <laughs> I will cry because he is just so compassionate, like multi dimensional. Like, 
he is as fluid as it gets like he really he's really achieved another level of understanding mm -hmm. that really lets people envision a world that is so multi-dimensional mm -hmm. and then think for me like you know for, in particular motherhood was something that i feel like he really helped me through because it was such a big chapter of a, a transitioning that i was going through and it came with a lot of emotions a lot of coming to terms with things and you know he really like inspired me to be the best mum i could be for my daughter but for myself mm -hmm. and you know there was one line that he said that was you know your your child gets their viewpoint of the world from you mm -hmm. so when you're joyous you're compassionate you're loving that's what they're learning through their like for themselves mm -hmm. and you know it just made me a better mother through that it made me a better wife like a better sister a better friend better overall person yeah. and just yeah and he just like reminded me of like the beauty of like motherhood and femininity yeah. and not giving into a very heavily masculinated world you know yeah i'm a boss bitch but i am a kind compassionate nurturing woman who loves to nurture the ones around me yeah. and i don't want to be too hard i don't want to be too rigid because i don't want to lose the essence of fem femininity and that so the three people that i want to invite onto my dinner table would be number one Rumi. he's just someone who's like so special um he's a scholar he's like a saint the way he he you know has so much wisdom about the world and his advice i feel like it would be such a blessing just to sit there and you know hear hear his thoughts about so many different topics um so Rumi would be so special you know his number one uh quote that really resonates with me is the entire universe is within you and i feel like you know every day that's something that is just a reminder and affirmation to ourselves that we have and is Rumi just hit it, hit it like all together you know when we're going through trying times you know when we're doubting ourselves we have all the capabilities within ourselves to make it through to, to, to trust in yourself so that's number one and then the second person is mustafa the poet he, he's a gang gag <laughs> um, he's a contemporary artist who i've been listening to his album is beautiful um he speaks so much about grief loss um but also about community in in different ways and i feel like he it'd be beautiful just to you know speak and converse you know in in these trying times that we're going through and it'd be so relatable um so second person would be mustafa the poet third person would be frida kohola um she's an artist she's a mexican artist actually and she's someone who went through like trying times you know and i feel like it'd be beautiful just to hear hear her her journey or what she went through i saw frida kohola would be my third person so it'd be a nice variation mix so yeah yeah. That is a good mix. Yeah. So um how we became soul sisters. So going back to being 14 and 15, I remember going to a youth group that was quite close to where I was living and it really brought people together that were quite driven by um certain subjects, certain passions that they had. And I remember going there and I see Sarah. And, you know, I just sat opposite her, I'm doing my thing. And you know, she would she was very, she was a loud character. <laughs> <laughs> she was a very loud character. It's, it's gone down. It's gone down. My energy's, my energy's I don't ever change that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember like seeing her there and like, like the biggest thing I remember from being there is like me and her organising this piecemeal. Yeah. And we came together and... With a group of others. Yeah, group of... Oh, of course, definitely. Who are yeah. amazing. We wouldn't be able to do that without the group of others, especially yeah. Sophie, her dad. Yeah, my dad, Sophie, who are, who are the youth workers um, of our youth club. And us coming together, it was so special because we were, what, 15? And we were like organising this piecemeal for all faiths from different backgrounds to come together and you know really learn about one's faith in, sp in specific which was at that time islam mm -hmm. and 
we all sat together and organized you know sponsors to sponsor this meal uh, we organized different groups of different communities to come down and we had that responsibility at a young age to go and do this which really helped us um you know be able to have confidence in our abilities to really go in and have a, a plan of actually uniting people you know and having that you know, having that, uh, having that, you know, at a young age that your voice matters, I think was great because it gave us an opportunity to really feel like we're gonna, we're gonna unite c different communities. Yeah. And I think that was what's, what was so special about this peace meal. Yeah. But even more so, it was special because the youth club, the organizers, you know, they really felt that us as young people, we have a voice. Mm -hmm. And I think having that belief in us, what gave us belief you know mm -hmm. and instill confidence in us that oh we can carry on this message as we grow mm -hmm. you know as we grow older mm -hmm. and you know share that um so that was yeah. definitely i think our first moment where we connected our soul sisters because we were there united for a reason mm -hmm. and yeah oh. and um just a little highlighting um i went to this youth group and i'm not muslim yeah but for me, going there, it really showed to me the importance of really being ex accepting of every religion and every faith. And for me, being there and not seeing myself as any different as the people around me just showed to me that, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, it showed to me that, like, we're all human. Yeah. And what really connects us right now is we're humans. And, you know, like... For me, I really feel like I got my perception of Islam through my friends, my, the beautiful girls around me. And, you know, they really showed me what a beautiful faith it is. Yeah. And for me, again, you know, someone who is Hindu, like I am very, very open to her making a difference in all aspects. And I think I was even more happy to have met Sarah in a setting where, you know, it wasn't, I wasn't segregated. I wasn't boxed up in what was normal and what was right for me it was just we came together it was on that. open yeah and we all yeah. came together on that sort of purpose of just making that positive difference in the world so just yeah what is something you're passionate about Sunita? what's something you're passionate about? um i feel like because i've sort of like grown up with struggles and like you know like as a youth and you know like being a youth and being a woman and just so many different in so many different areas like i went i got went through struggles in the education system and one thing that i really realized was missing in the society was really encouraging people and really highlighting to people that peace is a state within themselves yeah and for me that was like pivotal to what is driving me right now and us right now yeah were, like you know really encouraging people and showing people how powerful they are just in themselves and yeah. you know you don't see schools you don't see um you know education systems you don't see even maybe even but it's something that's quite new to families to sort of um comprehend as well that you know peace is something within yourself it's a it's you don't have to go externally to find peace and i just genuinely it's something that i really want to help people discover um yeah as well through this channel and through yeah. the avenue so yeah that's what i'm passionate about exactly. and making that difference yeah to the world so yeah we love that <laughs> we do <laughs> um there was something i'm passionate about i think it's it's um it's just showing that we're all on this journey and we're okay to be human and to have that collective empathy for one in, one another i think that's something i'm passionate about is to show that you know like love love is real when you're with you know to show love to others that are not you know your normal standard you know um fellow person you're used to maybe you know what i mean like a certain identity but to really push through love in through different layers of you know people who are going through different extremities or you know life you know the way that they've gone through they what they're dealing with i think it's just to really show that yeah uniting more through through them to 
emotions, love and empathy. And I think, yeah, the struggle of life. I'm passionate about just, you know, showing that, that it's okay to be human and we have trials and errors. And then the second thing is charity. Charity is like the main, you know, passion I have, I'm passionate about, but to give back, I think that's one of the, that's one of the best things that we can do what i feel like we can do is as humans and uh, i'm just excited to see you know the different people that we meet maybe and you know mm -hmm. we interview and how you know they, they, they people are giving back to the world and something and how what we can learn from as well because we're students we're students of life mm -hmm. um of everybody and we're excited to see where this journey takes us yeah <laughs> I don't know if I rambled, I didn't make sense, nope, but nope, this, is how I speak. this is how I speak. This is us. <laughs> Take it on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Good luck. No kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us um, for our Get to Know Us video. We hope you enjoyed it. You subscribe, you like, you comment, you know, how what you felt you connected with this video. And we're excited to see you in the next one. Thank you.